the Katuba. Hebrew for Her writing is the Jewish marriage contract required from the groom and read aloud during the marriage ceremony. It is not a mutual agreement, the wife agrees only to accept the husband's proposal of marriage. It is assuredly not a bill of sale, the man does not purchase the bride. In fact, the Katuba represents the witnesses rather than husband or wife. Through this instrument they attest to the groom's actions, promises, and statements, and to the bride's willing acceptance of the marriage proposal. This one-sided contract was not an illusory obligation but a document prepared, according to the legal enactments of the Jewish sages, by the husband, detailing the responsibilities that he would have to his wife during their wedded life together. Some rabbis extended the explicit Old Testament requirements of food, clothing, and conjugal rights to include the demand that a husband respect his wife and not make her cry. He must deny himself to provide for her needs. One groom wrote, Be to me as wife according to the law of Moses and Israel, and I will serve, honor, support, sustain, and clothe thee according to the customs of the Jewish husbands. The traditional order to these verbs expressing responsibility, beginning with serve, indicates the spirit of the document. The wife has always had the happy responsibility of preserving this document. Examples of the Katuba have been found dating to the 3rd century before Christ. The use of the Katuba began in an historical setting, in which women were considered mere chattel in many societies, making the protection of the right of a wife even more significant. For the Jewish community and for all the world, the Ketubah stands as a monumental example of the protection of the rights of women. God's plan for the woman in marriage is manifested beautifully in this very one-sided document, in which the groom makes his commitments to his bride. The Ketubah's multiple sections record the particulars of the wedding. Date, names of bride and groom, etc and enumerate the groom's obligations, financial and conjugal to his bride. Traditionally, the ketubah is not, as many people assume, a contract between husband and wife neither, in fact, are required to sign the document. It is signed, rather, by two witnesses, who verify that the requisite conditions mentioned have been met by the groom. Another common misconception about the Kituba is that it in some way indicates that a man has purchased his wife, that it is some sort of transfer of property akin to a deed on a piece of land. This is not at all accurate. According to Jewish law there is no such relation of ownership between a husband and wife. The Kituba rather outlines the financial conditions that the groom must satisfy, if the couple is to be permitted to undergo the wedding ceremony and become legally married. Marriage has always been greatly honored in the Jewish community. This holy ceremony sets apart one man and one woman from all others, to accomplish the purposes for which they were created. In general terms, this could be understood as including companionship with one another, fellowship with the Creator, and continuation of the generations. The Katuba was designed primarily for women and often decorated in an aesthetically beautiful way. Jewish artists and scribes or calligraphers used their creativity and skill to create artistic masterpieces on high-quality paper or parchment. The contract is still written in Aramaic, and popular artistic techniques include micrography, the ministerial Hebrew writing painstakingly executed to shape interesting ornamental designs. Usually with floral or geometric motif, paper cutting, figurative art depicting the bride and groom or biblical couples, and even signs of the zodiac, conveying wishes for good luck. A suitable biblical quotation is often included. The documents are carefully preserved for their historical as well as artistic worth. Though required in the marriage ceremony, a commemorative ketubah is also a favorite anniversary gift. For Jewish families, the following things should be indicated in the ketubah if either father is a Kohen or Levi. The location of the wedding ceremony, including the city, state, and country and sometimes even the closest waterway, river, sea, lake for a more exact location, is necessary. The date of the wedding ceremony is also important. In the Jewish tradition, 
The new day begins at sunset. If the wedding is on Friday night, Saturday's date would be used. The month and year are according to the Jewish sacred calendar are to be used. The responsibilities of the bridegroom are carefully listed. The bride a price and the dowry, which is brought to the marriage and received by the bridegroom, as a loan to be repaid to the bride, if the marriage is dissolved are included. A customized ketubah would include hobbies, professional occupations, family background, and personal interests. The document is then signed by the groom and witnesses, who observed the solemn commitment ceremony. It is a charter of woman's rights in marriage and of man's duties. The Katuba is designed for woman's protection, and every legal nuance in this matter was developed, so that her husband shall not regard it as easy to divorce her. In a male-oriented society, the woman always needed more defense against the violation of personal rights than the man. The Katuba required money to be paid by the husband in case of divorce. This made it difficult for the husband to divorce his wife without appropriate reflection and consideration. The requirement of a scribe and a specially convened court and witnesses for a divorce also protected the wife from an arbitrary husband, especially when the rabbis, in accordance with Hillel's dictum, were lenient with divorce. Moreover, the Katuba protected whatever property was to be hers at the termination of the marriage. Because of this concern for the integrity of the daughters of Israel, the sages said that to live with a wife without a katuba, or without specification of fair conditions, is regarded as concubinage. The difference between a wife and a concubine is that a wife has a katuba, and a concubine does not. They considered that an unstructured marriage arrangement was fit only for a man and his concubine, that it placed the woman at an unfair disadvantage and that it was beneath a Jewish woman to be so considered. When the Jews of France were robbed of all their possessions and expelled by Philip the Fair in 1306, they moved en masse to Provence. Rashba ordered that no married life be resumed there until every man give his wife a replacement katuba. This katuba is required, even today, for everyone who has misplaced or lost the original katuba. Yeah